Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami on the Mysterious JG. We've <laughs> had uh, just a couple of videos of goofing around, not helping our friend who's bleeding out somewhere. Uh, and that's going to continue, at least for the duration of this video. I think we'll, we'll get back to the main story at some point. But wow, this woman's never heard of Feather Fans, and it's blowing her mind. So we had to give her a whole gap between videos to recover, but now we're back. Yeah, I guess that's what happens to trends. I want to wear one of those to my audition. Kiryu san, do you happen to have one? Yes, I carry around a feather fan and a body conscious dress everywhere I go. Then. What? Why on earth would I have one of those? <sighs> oh, I suppose that's true. But I'd love to try those on for my audition to really recreate the era. A body con dress and a feather fan in my hand. I'm um, Kiryu san, if you happen to find those items, do you mind bringing them back to me here? You can go get them for yourself. What the fuck? What? Why would I have to do your shopping for you? Please, I beg of you. I'm not saying it needs to happen for sure, but if you do find them, I'd love to try them on, that's all. Uh, fine, but who knows if I could ever get a hold of those, so I can't guarantee I'll come back. I understand, thank you. How do I get roped into this? Oh, well, I guess if I find them somewhere, I can bring them back to her. Now that I think about it, though, did I see those on sale at Don Quixote? Well, I was going to think Don Quixote would be the place to go, but, um, yes, yeah, right, whatever. This game is weird. Let's go fight uh, Majima, or at least see what, he's, what his deal is now. Because the thing about, I, I, don't, I don't know how fun it is to watch videos so just me getting jumped by Majima, but it does create some opportunity for progress of a kind. I don't think we're maxing out the Majima everywhere meter, because like that would involve, you'd be going well past what you're going to get just playing through the story, and even the side quests. So cool. Yeah, he's dressed as some kind of freaking disco idol here. Yeah! Majima-san, I'm totally fangirling right now, and I've got a giant purse. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Is that Majima-san? He's the Native American of the group. <laughs> oh, you chan what are you standing around there gawking at? Come on down. Maybe there's a dancing minigame. Check this one out. I got dance skills to pay the bills. <laughs> Woohoo! He's not bad. Ah. Yeah. Whoa, incredible. I mean, whoa, incredible. What's with that outfit? You look like you got into a fight with a disco ball, and it won. Fuck you, Kiryu Chan, me know. You didn't recognize the threads of yesteryear's idols? I pulled this get up out of my closet from back when I was living a high life. But uh, it turns out this flashy shit ain't so popular anymore. I kind of stand out like a jackass. Yeah, a little bit. And you asked me to come here why exactly? I didn't ask you to. I actually had my people warn you against coming here. What are you talking about? Huh? You ever heard of a break of battle? It's a hit with the audiences. They get a show and the dancers get a fight. Yeah. Is it a dance or a fight? Sorry, but I've never heard of anything like that. I guess not. They were pretty they were pretty street back in the day. But whatever, a break of battle tests the skills of both the dancer and the attackers, taking the dancer on. You got some idea how that works, right? Uh. You're saying audiences don't want to see a one-sided fight. The battle's only good when everyone is highly skilled. Yeah, it's like professional wrestling. It's highly choreographed. But don't use the word fake. They get mad. Uh. Exactly. So the true form of my dance is only going to show if I fight someone on the same level. Or better than me. Cool. I see. So that's why you call me. I get it now. <laughs> hey, hey. Glad you caught on so quick here, you chan. You wouldn't turn me down now, would you? <laughs> it does sound interesting. And if it takes two to pull it off, then I can get behind fighting for a good reason. All right, no need to rattle your brain about it. Just try to defeat me with everything you got. That's what'll make it the best show. Come on now. All right, well, let's try to see if I'm any good at fighting, because it's been a few videos, and I was doing terrible at the Weapon Master matches. You can get a grab in and some big old heat moves. Things go pretty good. Fuck you, man. I did my, uh... He's literally harder to hit in this mode.
Yeah, I'm not doing very well here. I actually broke up a combo for once. Dropkick didn't work. I guess I should have stuck with what was working. Ah, my headphones are sliding off. Oh, is there stuff I can grab? I gotta get my headphones. Ah, fuck! I, I lost the QTE because I had headphones. Alright, stop him from healing up. I'm gonna need to do some healing in this fight, though. It's not going that well. Fucking committed to my uh, grapple. Yeah, he got a bunch of healing back anyway. He's super can. I thought I'd switch tactics, but I didn't. Oh, I just won. I kind of lost track of how much LP had left. <laughs> Alright, that's good, I suppose. I don't know how much style I showed there, but I didn't have to heal, so. And hitting with the chair a lot was not that artistic, but it was fun. Such a passionate battle, Kiryu-chan. Amazing, he beat Goro-san with a chair while that guy was just trying to dance. What's wrong with you? So that's what a real breaker battle looks like. More intense than I thought. Ah, they're both so hot, Hark. <laughs> Now you're right, Majima-san. I hope you're dead. <laughs> hey, I don't even gotta worry about me. I told you, tonight in a breakup battle, people who take on the dancer gotta have just as much skill as the dancer himself. Manny. You saying you pretended to lose? Huh. Well, being the opponent of Kiryu China is, I can't say I got completely, uh, completely unscathed, but my energy is real. Uh, ow. Oh. Uh. Hey, don't push yourself. You probably did more damage than you'd think. After all, I did break many chairs over your body. <laughs> Piss on that. A true performer can never show the pain. Or even their real damn self to an audience. <laughs> but whatever. It was a hell of a performance. I made the right call dragging you out here, Kiyu chan Speaking of drag, you want to get a get into some kind of Okama fight next? <laughs> or what the fuck you got left? <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm remembering things I'd forgotten, too, thanks to you. 
That was some damn fine satisfaction right there. So it's time to come up with the next challenge. Later, Kiryu Chien. Rank up to A. We've we've learned Kali stick mastery. Whether he's dancing or fighting, his discipline is unforgiven. Got you backing up in a defensive position, an ass kicking anthem, heavy way to bantam. I don't remember the rest of the words of John Cena's old song. Whether he's dancing or fighting, Jima-san knows just how to grab an audience's attention to hold it there. There's so much about him I may never know if I'm lucky. <laughs> anyway, we got a locker key. He was just kind of hanging out. Hanging out. Hanging out with family. Got some girl dancing around in her, uh, her cool uh, boots. Got the lady at the disco waiting for us to bring her a feather fan and a body conscious dress. I guess if you choose the wrong thing there, she just says, I don't think that's what it is, mister, and you don't get um, credit for the quest. Or you have to talk to her again and start over. Like, it doesn't seem like any of these quests are really permanently failable. Keep boosting the health gauge, or should we get better with Wapits somehow? Well, you gotta be in beast mode for that. Watch a counterattack when an enemy comes at you. Charge step. Weapon durability isn't a problem in the Wapit tournaments because you have infinite durability on all Wapits. So only, like, if I want to get better fighting techniques for that tournament, it would have to be Rush Combo, and that, I don't think, is the key. Rush Combo just doesn't do that much damage. Although I guess I won that last fight by using it quite a bit. So I learned, no, what did I learn? Oh, I learned Cali Stick Master. You're able to handle Cali Sticks. It's a technique invented by Majima. And I can check an email to regain lightning fast attack speed. Yeah, that's like triple S. Never mind. We got a ton of Majima fights left to do if we want all this shit. I don't think we are going to max out the Majima meters. All right, let's uh Two through enemies with overwhelming power. Just all heat to okay. Yeah, it's not very interesting, but I think we're just gonna get more hit points. Prevent all damage when performing a resist guard in heat mode. That could be really useful, actually. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to Don Quixote and uh I guess we can stop on the way for some uh, beef bowl. Whoa. Whoa. A. Uh. Dramatically. Wait the hell up. Yo, kill you, Chan. Choose Vegeta sign. Eh, I know what the big rush is, but I don't plan to let you pass by without somebody's word. All right, come on. Three, four. Got a specific combo that I got down fairly well at one point. One, two, three, four, yep. Well, I used up all my heat, which is bad.
Yeah, I'm just tanking damage with some of these techniques. I tried to avoid that and it didn't work, did it? Alright. Let me get the fuck up here. There was, there was weapons I could pick up, but... Oh, I thought there were. Not doing very well in this fight, actually. Did better against the Breaker here, as far as not needing to heal up. Depending on where the camera is, I may or may not, yeah, get to where I need to be to grab a Wapit. Okay, I'm in trouble here. Can I? Yeah, thank you. Ah, jeez. It's been a while since I've uh, needed to use this much healing, but... This is annoying, too. It's like auto-countering everything instantly, and I'm like... I got... I had heat! I should have been allowed to use a heat move on him. I faded! There we go, now I got super heat finisher saved up. Just to do some damage, I hope. He's, in, he's back in his nothing affects me mode. Or at least his uh, grapples don't affect me mode. Fuck you! Ah, what a jerk. Alright. And kick in the back. At least I'm getting some uh, actual points from fighting him. Like, he's the only thing that you can really level up on at this point. It seems like, man, you're pretty damn tough. That's what I expect from the one and only kill you, John. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Kill you, John. Can't avoid fighting Majima son. I need to be an all powerful warrior. All right, let's just uh, wrap this whole tree up then. We now have maximum uh, body stats. And if we're in beast, and I need to bear in mind, if I'm in beast mode and I have some heat, I can basically avoid all damage. Um, Bodies for the prize fighter. Reluctless Assault, perform, unleashed after forming a backhand of finishing, only usable in Climax heat modes. Square, 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 triangle, triangle. At least charge punch after evading with a quick step to increase the damage of your attack. You just can hit square a billion times, basically. Oh, 
Well, this one would be rush combo. R1 chance and circle when the enemy attacks. Let's just have even more rush combo power. But yeah, fighting Majima really gives you a lot of levels, but I feel like the game is designed that we are not maxing out Majima uh, until the main story is over. And there is a there is a post-game mode, I, I believe. I don't think you have to beat the game twice to get to free roam post-game, but yeah, maxing out your Majima is, uh, is a kind of post-story type of thing to do, I believe. Anyway, let's get that beef bowl that we were talking about. Pachinko! Sorry. I think you have Gohan, who has like masenko ha or whatever. Yeah, which I guess is a piccolo move. Whatever. I take your order. I'll have nope. Ho ho. ho, ho. Alright. Well, I never say I was leaving yet, but okay. I guess I probably don't need another beef bowl after I had the extra large. Yeah, that was my first use of healing items in a minute. All right, on to Don Quixote. A giant blood pool. This has got to be Shinji's. Oh, that's right. He's dying somewhere, isn't he? I suppose I should go look into that. But first, I gotta find. I gotta help this girl. Research her disco part. I got any points in the meantime? I gotta get like five more, I think. Yep, still five more. I haven't gained any since the last time I checked, it looks like. Oh. 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 oh, 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 oh. What is that? Sushi gin. I must have cleared it at some point, or I would have points I could get there. All right, a feather fan and a body tight dress, a body Donna's dress. Welcome to Don Quixote. We got all sorts of garbage. Comfy shoes. Uh, body con dress and yes, Yajirobe fan. Women's clothing meant to leave little the imagination popper style during the economic bubble period in Japan. Fan designed by the Disco Queen, Miss Ayobi. It will really make you stand up, use it while dancing. You might even start a trend. So we spent like $600 on this garbage. You better be grateful. Alright, but it goes right into our uh, treasure inventory, not our like regular inventory. It goes into our plot item inventory. As in, I don't think we need to keep... Uh, like, I forgot Sushi Jin exists, and it's so tiny. Now I'm curious. Did we actually get everything out of here? Would new restaurants open up later in the story? Here's your table, sir. I did a sushi flight once. It was really expensive. It was really cool. Uh, and we've... Alright, let's get the $2 sushi. <laughs> Uh, Mouthwater. I guess my health was maxed out, and I, I keep thinking there's this little bit of dark to the right of your health meter that is always there, and I just keep thinking that's unfilled meter when it, in fact it is not. Should be wearing a bisu socks, and I'm not. It's madness. Yeah, I'm not dressed for Majima hunting. I don't have my most powerful battle gear. I suppose as long as I'm not actively doing the the dating thing, I should be... These do give you, um, some defense, actually. Whoa. What a man, I barely even tried to chase you. I 
should have put less into running distance, I guess, because you can just press release, press release. I think there was something I wanted to get from the other pet, like... Never mind. I don't even know what the fortune accessory... Like, the remaining accessories, I don't even know what they would do for me. I think the golden gun is like an infinite ammo gun, which seems like it would be game-breaking. But it's gonna take... Like, you gotta get, like, all the fucking completion points for that, I guess. Okay, oh, son, did you bring me the body con dress and the feather fan? I did. Yeah, I got them for you. I'm that bunch of a sucker. Yeah, you did? But really? It's not something I'd lie about. Here you go. Of course, I don't know your measurements, so... Head over, body con dress and a feather fan. Yes, they're just like the ones I saw women wearing in the video. Um, are you sure I can have these? Uh, we're, we're gonna... we're gonna do it, right? Uh. Not like I'd have any use for them. Go for it. Of course, I bought them out of my own money. Thank you very much. Be right back. I'm gonna go try them on. I guess that's something. We get to actually see her wearing them. Maybe she can dance with Breaker Majima now. <laughs> he's enjoying a nice smoke, which refills his health meter because he saw it snake. Or he could have one and then uh, have hotel sex like Gogo 13 to regain his stamina. Or like uh, Solid Snake in some of the other games, like smoking can decrease his life at all times. Here you sound, thank you for waiting. Oh. Where's the fan? You look pretty good in that dress. <laughs> ah, thank you. Hey, check it out. Huh? That dress. I gotta admit, that's really sexy. Yeah, it's it's kind of you to admit that. I know that was difficult for you. Oh. Hey, it looks like you're starting to turn some heads. Um, I guess so. This outfit is pretty flashy. How embarrassing. The women at the time probably weren't too embarrassed because everyone was wearing similar dresses. But when you're the only one, you kind of stand out. A lot. Well, if you're happy with it, why don't you change back? Dots. What? Hey, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> respond. Communication with the disco lady has ceased. Invest carry out an investigation immediately. No, I won't change. If I'm too embarrassed just to wear it, then there's no way I'll be able to audition in it. I need to capture the spirit of the era. That's not a bad thought. Then. Huh? <laughs> I'm dressed for dancing, so that's just what I'm going to do. Pops told me to decorate this tree, and that's what I'm going to do. So, for a brief period, I was watching that Orange County Choppers show. I uh, used to watch it with my dad and my brother sometimes, but my mom basically made a stop because, like, the anger between the father and the older of the two sons, like, she couldn't stand the show. It just stressed her out. Mm. Excuse me, but my main memory of the show is the idiot younger son loudly declaring, Pops told me to decorate this tree and that's what I'm going to do because there was an episode where they were supposed to be building a Christmas-themed bike. And the younger son kept fucking around and not getting shit done, which I guess is what he always did. But he just loudly declares, Pops told me to decorate this tree, and that's what I'm going to do. And just like all of the guys in my family were just like, he didn't tell him to decorate the tree. <laughs> like, there's no scene where Pops told him to decorate the tree. Pops kept telling him to fucking get to work on the bike. <laughs> and, and, and that's, I don't know, it's just that moment stuck with me. Are you sure? Yes, I bet I could even pull off some of the moves I saw in that footage at home. I see. But you know you're going to call a lot of attention to yourself, right? People might think you're crazy or weird. <laughs> I'll be fine. Keep your eyes on me, Kiryu-san. That's not going to be a problem. Sure. I should keep my distance so nobody thinks I'm crazy, too. They might think I'm crazy because they already saw me beat the shit out of some guy dressed like Michael Jackson at the same club not a half an hour ago. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what's going on here? Someone is dancing at this club. Don't they know this is a place for standing around? The guy with the question, question, question name probably turns out to be a movie producer or some shit. What a cool dance. <laughs> hey, you've got the moves, girl. Huh? She does dance pretty well. Yeah, nothing. no, no one's going to think you're crazy or weird when you're just, like, creeping behind a column staring at the girl in the flashy dress, Kiryu. <laughs> you're having so much fun. Can I join you? Not with that frumpy outfit on, bitch. Is this going to be the second video row that ends in the middle of this quest? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so I'm calling it. Last time we ended with the cliffhanger of her mind being blown by the concept of feather fans. 
Now our cliffhanger is, she has a feather fan. And what's going to happen next? The only way to find out is to tune in. See you then.